I want to insert this picture into our slide because I want to know if any of these tools on the effects mode toolbar will work on a picture and if so how do I make it work looking up under modify convert we can convert this to a polygon a contour it's already a bitmap and a meta file so let's take a look at what we can do with the picture in these different formats I want to copy this picture to another one. I'm holding down control and now I'm using my mouse and clicking. As I move it, we see a little plus sign. I want to select the original bitmap, hold down control, hold down my mouse button. I see the plus sign and move it down. And I'll move these down a little bit. And I want to label these to know what we're looking at. So we've got our bitmap, our meta file, and our contour. When I click on the bitmap, the only thing we can do is our rotate will work and our flip. Let's select the meta file, which is not a meta file yet. Modify, convert to meta file. And we see that the meta file can only do the same things as the bitmap. We've got rotate and flip. Going down to contour, I'm selecting the bitmap, modify, convert to contour. And we see this one, we've got our set and circle perspective, set and circle slant, and distort are all available, as well as transparency. Since all our icons are active, this looks promising. So I'm going to click on Set in Circle Perspective. I've got my arc with the lines above it. And when I move it, we see it move to that half circle that we saw before. But we also see straight lines showing through with the curved lines. When I release the mouse button, we see we only have a fraction of the picture and it is what is falling in between those two straight lines that we saw. Not exactly what we were looking for. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. Because we've converted this to contour, it makes us think maybe our points will work. I'm clicking on our points icon and nothing happens. So I'm going up into View, Toolbars, Edit Points. So I had to click off and back on to get my edit points working, but now I see my points. I can insert another point by clicking on the insert points. I can stretch this out. And it looks like I'm stretching the picture, but am I really? Or Am I doing the same thing we just saw with our set in circle where we had the full picture but only are seeing a portion of it? Let's go up to move points and move this one in. And we just saw that I cut out the hand and knife out of the picture. But we're not really stretching the picture to fit the shape. So we're resizing the picture to fit inside the new shape as best it can. but it's not altering the picture, it's just hiding the parts that we do not see. I'm going to insert a new slide and I want to copy our bitmap from this one. And I'm going to change bitmap to polygon because that was our last choice in modify convert and here's polygon 
When I click that, the first thing it does is bring up a dialog box. And the dialog box is asking us to answer a few questions. What are the number of colors that we want? What is the point reduction we want? And do we want to fill the holes? And we also have a preview box that shows us what our image would look like after we convert it to the polygon. Clicking on the preview shows us that this doesn't look very close to our original picture. And that's because of a few things. The first one is we're reducing the number of colors to eight. We can increase this all the way up to 32. Let's check a preview on 32 colors. Uh, that's not really much better. The online LibreOffice guide suggests another option we can try, and that is to posterize our picture before we make it a polygon. The posterize is found up in our filters, posterize, and it does the same thing. We've got our posterized colors. This one has a bigger range than between 8 and 32. We can take it all the way down to two colors and all the way up to 64 colors. So that's a bigger range than we have when we convert to polygon. I'm going to cancel out of here and do this again. And it's suggesting we try 16 colors. I'm going to click on OK to that. Now I'm going to modify, convert to polygon, and use 16. Checking our preview. Not quite as good as the original, but we can work with it. This next one, point of reduction. For the point of reduction, I'm going to add another picture, one that might help us make sense of this a little better. I've paused the video and I've drawn lines. I start with the value of zero and then I increase the width one, two, and I go all the way up to 10. I'm going to take these lines that I've drawn, select them, modify, convert to bitmap. Now we've got a bitmap and I want to convert this bitmap to a polygon. Convert to polygon and it's asking us the point of reduction zero pixel. When I click on my preview we see that they are all there. If I increase the point of reduction we'll say like three. Now when I click the preview our 0 and 2 don't show up because they are less than 3 pixels wide. Increasing this a little more will make it 5, preview, and we reduce more. So what we're saying in point of reduction is how many pixels wide does it have to be? And we are saying it has to be over 5 pixels wide. Now if I come back to our picture of the cake, modify, convert to polygon, I'm going to increase this point of reduction to about 5. Looking at the preview, we see these little white holes showing up here. That's where this fill holes comes in handy. Clicking the checkbox, now when I hit preview, we see that we've filled the holes. Now this tile size here, the best way to show this off is, let me cancel out of here, I'm going to insert a new page and copy the picture of the cake. I want to increase this so it's easier to see. Using control and dragging down to create a copy. On this top one, I'm going to select that, modify, convert to polygon. I'm going to make this 32 colors, point of reduction of 10. I want to fill the holes, and I'm going to make this 32 pixels. I'm going to skip the preview and click OK. 
Now on this bottom one, I'm going to do the same thing. Modify, convert to polygon. And this time, instead of 32 pixels, I'm going to make this 8. Clicking OK. On this top picture, we can see the 32 pixels boxes. We've got like a light gray, then a darker gray, and it's working its way around. On the lower picture, we've got little 8 pixel boxes. So these tiles were only available if we checked the fill holes checkbox. If we didn't, we would not even have this option. Now that we've seen how all the options work in the polygon, let's go back to our polygon. This picture, we've not converted yet to the polygon. We only posterized it through the filter. So I want to go modify, convert to polygon. And check in our preview. We're going to take this down to one. Take off our fill holes. Preview. So it looks pretty close. Not exactly, but pretty close to what we have. I'm clicking OK. I've clicked off it and clicked on it, and we still don't see any shapes available. When I go up to Modify, Convert, I have Convert to Polygon again available. I'll need to click that again, even though we just converted it to Polygon. And now, Set in Circle, Set in Circle, Slant, and Distort are available. Move this down. And if we set in circle slant it's now using the entire picture within the area to work with so when we converted to polygon we lost a few of the colors and we lost a little of the sharpness in the picture itself but we are able to adjust these pictures using the tools in the effects mode toolbar Thank <laughs> you.